your holy name. You are highly exalted. You are highly lifted up. Thank you, mighty God. You are worthy of our praise. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Bless every God forevermore. Jesus, mighty name, we have given thanks. Once again, we shall be going to God with us, giving our heart. The word of God says, in all situations, in every situation, give him thanks. This time, we're going to be blessing the name of the Lord for the life of our mother and the children she left behind. We're going to thank him for the great and mighty things he's doing in their life and what he has done and that he is set to do once again. With that, let's raise our voices and say, Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. You are highly exalted. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the life and time of our mother. Father, we thank you for the children. We thank you for how far you have brought them. We thank you, Lord, for making a way where there seems to be no way. Awesome God, we bless your holy name. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Let's commit the rest of the rest of the program into God's hand and ask God to lead us. Spirit of the Most High God, we commit this program into your hands, O Lord. We ask that you come and lead us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your will alone be done. Now, at the end of the day, once again, we turn all the glory, all honor, all adoration to you. Thank you, mighty God. Bless every God forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's put our hands together as we welcome the choir.
Let's be seated. We are going to take our first scriptural reading from First Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18, and for our second
Praise the Lord. Uh, in the morning, we are going to be listening to second scripture reading. We'll be taken by Mrs. Esther Arokoyo. Aronio. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Follow me, man. God bless you. Let the Lord be clap.
Praise the Lord. This is a celebration of life. And at this point, we're going to be giving you opportunity to those who are privileged to know uh, Mama uh, to come forward and uh, give a short testimony. And we'll start as we have in the program in our hand. Uh, with people, you know, about physically. Praise God. So, neighbors of the Arokuyos, um, that you are privileged to meet Mama when she visited. We we'll want to hear what testimony you have about her. Huh? And the reason for this is, uh, Bible says, Dua Tensebo. It says, the memory of the righteous is eternal. It's eternal. The Bible also says in Revelation 14.13, it says, those who have come to do with the Lord, they are resting in their labors. And it says, they are works. They are testing Follow them. Praise God. So we have to Finally, just pick one in each category. If you are prepared to meet from now where you visited, you are a neighbor of the Arokoyos, please uh, you can stand in the cave by raising your hand and just come forward. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the Lord indeed clap. Praise the Lord. Uh, I am not the Arokoyos neighbor, but I am their sister. And uh, I met my wife when she came here to visit. Uh, I actually, because of her, the way she, she, I mean, uh, the, uh, the way she warm up to me, so I requested that they should bring her to my house. So she visited me, and uh, we had a very good time. For the fifth time, she came to visit me. Uh, there's a, one of the gospel musicians that's my best musician. Uh, it happened to be her, Dr. Bialabi. And she came and I played it, and uh, we had a good time talking together. She, and I discovered she's a very industrial woman, a very hard worker. She has a big fish business in Nigeria. And uh, we talked at length, and uh, we would miss Mama. But I know she's kind of dead, and she loves her children, especially her grandchildren. Just a good night, kind of dead, and industrial small. Praise the Lord. We have some testimony of Mama there for someone that actually remained with her when she visited. Now we want to call on friends, the friends of the Arapuyos. Anyone that is in that category, you want to say something about Mama? You can please uh, come forward. Praise the Lord. Praise God, please come forward. This point we want um, 
someone on the behalf of the church and Winners Chapel International Academy who want to say something about um, Brother Sheikh Mwaropoyo and his wife. Because sometimes Jesus says, if you have seen me, you have seen my father. You have seen my father. Mama raised and Engineer Sheikh Mwaropoyo. I can say something about Mama through what we have seen. Praise the Lord. Anybody who wants to come forward and be out of the church. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, I, I knew when I came to Calgary in 2012, I was privileged to know um, Brother Maru Koyo at the church. The church was there at Martin Street. And I saw that uh, even that time, he was part of at least two uh, service groups in the church. And I know that uh, it's always very happy, very, I mean, you use the word in English every day, it's very happy, man, that's the person, so. And um, I know that she also likes to go home, I don't know, I mean, I didn't know when Mama came, uh, so I was not really able to meet Mama. But I also saw the way he's very full of activism and that himself, and especially that people here today, there will be people from the... Nigerian and Indian Association, a group from the church, a group from the Nigerian diaspora organization. He's not only a member of what the organization is, actually, praise the Lord. And I also know that when he was, uh, some people don't care about uh, um, uh, registration. But it took very seriously when we were going to do it. I was really led to one of the people who said, oh, please, can you recommend me? So, uh, uh, Sometimes when you're busy and completing form online, can be something. You stay on top of it until I did it. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I know him to be very diligent, very light. Why one of the people in the church, that if anybody wants to do anything, before I think of one or two people, one day. Praise God. And not just that, even me as an engineer, I want to do anything that I don't know how to do. And uh, something I need a contact for. It's all the people I will spread a more contact. How do, you, how do you get people that can provide the service? I do it like every now and then. And I'll never have to do any time. Praise God. So, I, so when they talk of the industry of Mama, if you also read the story of Mama, you hear, you see that uh, she was raised like many parents of many of us here were raised. Raised, um, maybe lost one period of one period when she was very young. But that would not not her from something very industrious. Uh, so the story says she was a trader. I didn't even know later the trading moved to fish farming. Praise God. You can see the same kind of spirit of industry in Brazil. Praise the Lord. Let me the Lord a bit back. We are still going to take um, one or two testimony, one from the family, the family member of this year, other than the Brussels um, mom and his wife, and then the Brussels mom or the wife will come forward and say something about what happened. Pray that please come forward to family member. Let's give the Lord a big clap. Praise the Lord. Uh, well, if I have to say something about mommy, I, I believe I'm going to be here for the whole night. Unfortunately, there's no time for that. Well, um, my mom and my mother, they have been together for 40 years. They knew each other even when I was not around to be able to say anything about that. So, how I got to meet mommy here was, uh, I called, uh, she had my little boy. So, but as soon as mommy came, and I came to visit mommy. I was shocked because she insisted she was coming back to visit us in, in Fort Macquarie. And she insisted, I think they drove almost seven hours, and she was energetic. When she got to us, I couldn't believe it. I was expecting her to say, okay, I'm going to sleep. She never did. She insisted that we should get everything ready. And the short time she spent with us in uh, Fort Macquarie, the old, the first thing she said to me, from the shop, have you built any house in Nigeria? You need to go back home and do this. And she 
kept on hollering, but I thank God that based on her advice, we were able to do that. So, and that's one thing I actually appreciate about her advice. If she sees you, she can, she'll, she's a good listener, and she'll tell you exactly how it is. It doesn't really matter what you're thinking. She's going to, she's going to say, listen, this is what you should do, and you should do it right. And I pray that uh, God, in his infinite mercy, will give her the best place to rest in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a good clap. Yes. Another one. Please come forward, sir. Come forward. Yes. Yeah, I just want to thank God and thank uh, all of you here present today to celebrate uh, this amazing uh, grandmother, amazing mother. I, I have known Mama since, uh, since I was a little boy. Uh, we and all the other children, we almost grew up together. We are friends. Sometimes we sleep together. We go to occasions together. These are uh, Shaggy's senior brothers. And uh, after a while, we came to Canada again. Myself and Shaggy, here we are together again. Uh, when Mama came, uh, Mama is such a very wonderful woman. I, I call her an amazing person because she's love personified. Uh, she is a woman that uh, highly industrious, like we have said. Uh, one thing that amazes me about my mind is uh, she's, a, she's a mother that, that uh, the kind of importance she attached to education cannot be underestimated. She, even though she has very limited of it herself, uh, she knew quite well that education is important for everyone. Mama sent everybody to good schools. She spent her resources, her money, she made, she's a home builder. She made sure everybody is fine. Even now I'm sure she's resting, she's confident that there won't be any fights, there won't be any trouble, everybody is settled, everything is settled. I'm sure she's happy wherever she is. That is the kind of woman she is. Again, when I got the news that Mama was dead, sort of me feeling for him, who is, uh, uh, the person I actually felt for was my sister here sitting down. Because it, it's like she's losing a mother the second time. You know, she lost her mother a while ago. Her mama stepped in fully. She never knew she lost a mother. And immediately I got the news, I said, okay, now Mumi is in trouble. That because it's like she's lo losing a mother again. So it, 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 it was something else. But I believe, you know, her legacies will, will be felt for a very long time. And, and uh, uh, everybody Mama has left behind. I pray that God will bear everyone the fortitude to bear this loss. And uh, we just, uh, we are solely rest in the fact that he's resting with the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. When the two things were crucified with Jesus, Jesus told the one that repented, he said tonight, you will be in paradise. So we know where Mama is. She's in paradise. Now we'll take one more testimony from Sammy. Praise the living Jesus. I just want to thank God for the life of Mama. You know, I knew her very briefly because I had left town. I had left her back to the short wife and I knew before I met her. I thought the next day is because my people had known the wife for a long so when Mama, when we were here for the vacation in 2016, she came to visit us when we were lodging. And uh, that one is in the actual case. When we were leaving, we, came, we left the uh, early June, the Mama and Uncle Dash were coming back for the morning to visit us. So we didn't cross the fourth map. I mean, I carried to the fourth map. It's not, it's not a journey that can just set back on because of the road and because of the nature of Mama's age. She came, she conquered, she saw, she conquered, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And while she was with us, every, my mama made sure that she prayed for me, because she knew my concern. And in the last Christmas, when she had told her that Mama is she was like 18, called her, she, and while she was still on the bed, she was still praying for me. And I know that God will do what I do for God in Jesus' name. Amen. So my sister, my sister said, Mama is blessed. That shall be don't have to. Though I know as a man, you may say, I still want to, no matter how 
Okay, we have all the different issues. Still want to have I told you, I said, Mama is blessed. Mama has seen you to this level, and she has seen the children that Mama is blessed, and she's blessed. I don't thank God that Mama did not like. Though we still want her, but God took her from the best. And I know that God doesn't want to try to be in pain. So I pray that the Lord will give her a lot of time rest and comfort the family she left behind in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's clap some more of the same God. Finally, we're going to let's come call on our seven or the wife of the woman to say what? Okay, praise the Lord. Let's clap, let's keep going.
lift your voice into heaven, lift your hands up to heaven like you should come. For we are not here to mourn. We are here to celebrate a good life here in Panama. Appreciate God for this day. Father, we thank you. Jesus, we give you praise. And to the Lord, we the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. No man can create a life. So the owner of the life, the creator of the life, is the only one that is permitted to create and to take. And no man has a cause or has a right to challenge him. So, for this great opportunity, Lord, we thank you this morning. For this afternoon, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Why are we giving thanks? The Bible says, in all things, give thanks. For this is the will of God. We thank God because it's not the other way around. It's not Mama that is bearing his children, our children. But God will give us reason to return all the glory unto you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We want to put those hands together with Jesus. Praise God. I appreciate uh, the leadership of the resident pastor giving me this uh, opportunity to quickly charge us here this evening. Praise God. We've listened to testimony about Mama. We've had people saying a lot of wonderful, beautiful things about her. We've had a series of testimonies that people want to convert here. That I'm God. I wish people would stand and say things like this about me. Praise God. So I've got one question for everyone here this evening or this afternoon. What would people say about you when you are gone? It's a big question. Please, don't deceive yourself. You can deceive any man. You can deceive your pastor. You can go to church and do a service. You can go to anywhere. You can be morally upright. You can be doing good to people. People may know you as a philanthropist. People may know you as, ah, that guy, that man, that woman used to help people. But what will people say when you are gone? It's very deep. Praise God. So I challenge everyone here, when you get back home, maybe your personal time, just ask yourself that question one more time. Where will people say when I'm gone? May we hand well in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says better is the hand of a thing than the beginning thereof. If our hand could be so nice and be so good, it means our future in heaven will be so bright. If any man knows when he's going to die, every man will do what is right at that hour. But God knows. And that is why the Bible says it's going to come like a thief in the night when you are least prepared. So, and that is why as a Christian, we have to live right before him. Praise God. Yeah, I had a testimony from my brochure when we were talking about the death of Mama that Mama gave her life to Jesus before he died. And that is the joy of it all. When Mama came here, before she came, according to what I heard from Brochet, she, she was not attending uh, the Pentecostal church as it were. But when she returned to Nigeria, after I encountered in her church in Winners, she returned back home and she was looking for Winners Church. And that was the church she was going before she died. Amen. Praise God. In fact, Brochet said, they ask her, don't trouble yourself too much. Don't travel too far to locate. Just be worshiping where you're used to. She said, no. And she made sure that she was part of Moena's church. I don't know whichever uh, town she was living before she died. And she was committed serving God. Praise God. May you die at the best of your time in the name of Jesus Christ. If Jesus tarries, everyone here I pray you will make heaven. Amen. 
Well, my prayer may not be good enough for you to make heaven. That is the truth. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. God will not change his word because of what somebody. Praise God. We have people that are moralists. They do good to people. They help people. They do all manner of things to help others. Well, it's part of the kingdom service. But most of it all, I feel had an encounter with him. Nicodemus asked that question. He said, what should I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? He said, you have to be born again. He asked the question. He said, so does it mean that I have to enter my mother's womb and come out again? He said, no. He said, but I give to the poor. I do all those stuff. He said, no. Except a man be born again. So what is this preaching of born again? It's very simple. You acknowledge the sonship of Jesus Christ. And you openly confess him as your personal Lord and Savior, and you walk right before him. See, now we can't be preaching to the dead. The dead, the, the, mod, the mother, she's done her own and she's gone. But we that we are here, uh, those are the people we have to talk to. Praise God. And we just have to talk to ourselves. Praise God. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. The Bible says, and as it's written, it's appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment is appointed for a man to die once, and after this death is judgment. So there's no repentance in death. Just so Christ was once over to bear the sin of men and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Without what? Sin without what? Sin salvation. Without sin unto salvation. So what qualify people for heaven identity or for heaven uh, <laughs> personify is our salvation life that we live continuously without sin. Something I discovered from scripture that is so, somebody may say it's unfair, is that if you have been doing good from all the beginnings of your years, and you just change once, and Jesus come, no. You will say, no, I know, I know you not. Why? Even though I've been doing good for the last 59 years, but the 68th year, Jesus came, and he said, you are not doing right now. And that is what is going to use to judge. Praise God. Praise God. So that is why as a Christian, it doesn't matter what is going wrong. We have to do right. If you hear that, say I hear. So it doesn't matter what is not working. It doesn't matter what you com commit as a sin. Ah, you might commit some sin, but the righteousness in Christ and your repented heart and to always do right, that is what will make us a candidate for heaven. You won't miss heaven. I said I will not miss heaven. So our prayer here is that Mama has gone to be with the Lord. She's in a better place. Are we preparing ourselves to see her in heaven? She has run up, she has run and hook our, our own course. She has laid it to her. She has done everything beautiful for the children, making the best of life she could. And she's gone. That is coming. If trumpet sound now, because whether people believe it or not, trumpet is going to sound one day. Jesus is going to appear in heaven on the sky, and the saint of God will go with him. Praise God. Praise God. So I charge us here today. John chapter 3, verse 16, the Bible speaking. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. What is perishing? What is everlasting life? Everlasting life is when you die, your spirit doesn't die. Your soul and your body, your body came out of the dust in the first place, and it returned to the dust. Mama is in heaven now. So all the body, when they are carrying the body and they're doing, they are doing ceremony, all those ones are ceremony just to just to make people feel that, okay, we do the ceremony and uh, the dust to the dust and 
the body is going to decay and go back to the dust it belongs to. But the spirit has left her since that day she died. At the moment the spirit left her, she appears in heaven as will be on the throne of judgment. Praise God. That is how a man transition. So, you won't die in accident. Amen. No sickness will cut your life short. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Nobody prepare to die someday. No. No. You won't miss it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. The world through him might be saved. It doesn't matter how many people that doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. That doesn't change the fact. Am I speaking to someone here? It doesn't matter how many people that doesn't believe in Christianity. It doesn't matter that how many people that doesn't believe in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. No religion saves. Salvation of soul is what saves. No religion. Hmm. So, even as a Christian, if we are too busy playing religion, that doesn't connote or that doesn't guarantee our salvation. If anyone in the house here tonight or this afternoon has not made it right with Jesus Christ, it's never late. Say to yourself, it's never late. 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 Praise God. So I want to charge us that as I'm rounding up here this evening, God, is there anything in my life that will make me to see you? The beautiful place like heaven, no man can design it. And it's everlasting life. Life without no first scarcity. Life without no mortgage. Life without no borrowing. Life without no cooking food. Life without no credit card. Life, life without no marrying or no marrying. That is the life I'm talking about. The street of heaven is plated with gold. What a wonderful place to be. I pray and I believe you won't miss it. Amen. You are not saying a louder amen. amen. I pray and I believe you won't miss it. Amen. Rise to your feet with me this evening. And I want you to take a moment, bow down your head, pray a prayer of repentance. You may, you might have committed sin, but that is not enough to condemn you. Oh, you might have committed sin, but that is not strong enough to condemn you or to disconnect you from the Lord Jesus Christ that saves the whole world. You want to bow down your head? You want to pray a prayer? We are not, I'm not preaching religion here. I'm just telling you the truth, not the fact, the truth of the word of God. He said, except a man be born again, he cannot see. He cannot, that is the word of God. God will not bend his word because of any man or because of any religion. You want to bow down your head here this afternoon? Bow down your head, all eyes closed, all heads bowed. You want to make it right with him. Just confess him. He's the owner of your life. You want to pray this prayer with me, Lord Jesus? I come before you today. Let today be my day of salvation. Pray that prayer with me with sincerity of your heart. Let today be my day of salvation. Let today be my day of salvation. I don't want to miss heaven, Jesus. I don't want to miss heaven, Jesus. That is the only way. That is the only way the Bible recorded. No man can come unto me except through the Son, through my Son, who is Jesus Christ. Lord, I confess you with my mouth this afternoon as my personal Lord and Savior. Let my name be written in the book of life. Lord Jesus, save me from every dirty sin of my life. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You pray that prayer with me, wave your hands unto heaven, wave your hands unto heaven. You know you are saved beginning from today. I pray for you. The power and the grace of God that saves you today will sustain you. Amen. You won't go back to the world. And, and the eternal, eternal life. When we are there celebrating with Jesus, you won't miss it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we make this decision and welcome God's hand. For Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed by that word? Yes, Praise God. Uh, Clap for Jesus Christ. Uh, and you may have your seat. Praise God. 
I'm sure our mother watching right now is saying, I'm smiling to Bolashev right now in the family. Praise God. Why? Because uh, there is a plan that he has. And that plan will be actualized very soon. In the name of Jesus Christ. That word is true. Every time like this that we gather is a time of reflection. Now, it's like we are saying, oh mama, bye. Now, after you have said that, you know, turn back to yourself. Okay, she's going somewhere. Where am I going? When the time comes. So that's why we need to reflect and check. Is there anything like you just have that can hinder me? <laughs> uh, everybody knows you know what you do in your closet, in your private time, in your touch time. Uh -huh. You know what you think about. All those things people may not see, but God sees. So those are the things that we must get rid of. Because it can hinder us from making heaven. None of us here shall miss heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me just share what with us before we pray for the family. In the book of Psalm 90 and verse 10. Psalm 90 verse 10, it says, The days of our years are three scores, years and ten. That is what David believed. Praise God. And he said, And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is a strength and labor and sorrow, for it is so caught off and we fly away. That's what he believed was. What Bible wants her to be is one 20 years. How many of you are ready to get there? <laughs> Praise God. You will get there in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says a child shall die at how many years? 100. So that means even at 100, you are still working strong. All your teeth are still complete. Praise God. You will be using working stick in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, in verse 12, it says, So, Teach us to number our days that we apply our heart unto wisdom. Yes, we need wisdom because we are going somewhere. We need wisdom so that we can live life that will please God. We need wisdom so that we can get there one day. I know Jesus as it tarries, none here will miss heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So at this time, I would like to invite the family to come forward. Uh, so that we can pray for them. Praise God. Everybody rise on your feet right now and stretch your hands towards them and pray for them concerning what we are here to do tonight and thank God for the life of our mother. And as God has sustained them till now, He will sustain them to eternity. Go ahead and pray for them, bless them, cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything that was responsible for the, for the early departure, none shall be, shall be mentioned around their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, cut off and pray against every sickness, every disease in their life and family, in their lineage. None of such sickness and disease will ever be mentioned again. Ask God, ask God, and cover them with the blood, with the blood, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Ask God that every disease that tampers with people will never come around them. Every affliction is cut off forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we stand here today celebrating the life that you gave unto your daughter. Oh, we can see her work right here. This family right now will commit them to your hand. That your good hand be upon them. Amen. Lord, cut off every evil activity, every evil intentions away from them. Amen. Your word says affliction shall be far away from us. Therefore, we decree affliction to be far away from them. Amen. Cover them with your blood. We cover them with your fire. No evil report concerning them. Every sickness, every disease that ever affects anyone in the family will declare today that it has come to an end. No generational culture 
affect them in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that even as they look forward to the final barrier, Lord, we pray that that barrier ceremony shall be smooth. Everyone traveling everywhere shall be saved. No evil report. No negative news. Even as they celebrate that life, oh Lord, that ceremony will bring back spiritual children in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask all of our provision. We ask for protection. We ask for favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Or oh, that when they're going back home, Lord, it shall be smooth ride. Each free journey in the name of Jesus Christ. All the simply will commit them to the hand of God. God will lift them unto you. Let there be good report concerning them. In the name of Jesus Christ, there will not be any trouble, no grumbling, no complaint or whatsoever. In the name of Jesus Christ. And we and when we are going to celebrate one year from now, it shall be with greater testimony. Concerning everyone gathered here tonight, oh Lord, good things shall be said concerning us. We shall all live old and in well good age. In the name of Jesus Christ, no one shall be a victim of any sickness, any disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever sickness is ravaging anybody's life right now, we we'll command it healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ, as we go back home, we shall get back home safe, sound. In the name of Jesus Christ, no road accident. The road is declared safe. We we'll plead the blood of Jesus Christ over it. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you, Lord. We shall not experience any untimely death in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, thank you, Lord. Bless them with their name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Rise on your feet. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are all welcome into uh, this place. Uh, the Willis family. Uh, called Willis Chapel International Calgary is the church that they belong to and that's where we came from and uh, we invite you to our church anytime you are free. The address is 3740 27th Street in North East. As you come to worship with us, the Lord will bless you. It's a home of signs and wonders. As you come, you shall have your own testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. To the families, I announce it to you that don't go like that. They have a gift for you, right? Be blessed, everyone. You will get all safe in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's share the blessed fellowship. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. I wish I dwell in the name of God, celebrating forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Get all safe, everybody. The Lord bless you. We love you all. Thank you for coming. Be blessed. Amen.